Here are your Court News Ohio top stories in five minutes. The Ohio Supreme Court justices cleared up some confusion when it comes to sealed records for pardoned and acquitted defendants in two separate cases that came before the court. On January 28th, the justices determined that courts have no authority to seal an offender's criminal record following a governor's pardon unless that person meets certain requirements defined in state law. The justices said the Ohio General Assembly would have to change state law for pardon recipients to receive a clean slate. In a second case, also decided on January 28th, the justices held that courts may unseal an acquitted defendant's record only for reasons provided in state laws. Writing for the court's majority, Chief Justice Maureen O'Connor said that when a statute establishes a mandatory obligation and provides specific exceptions, a court cannot create additional exceptions. More information about both cases can be found at sc.ohio.gov. Called to jury duty? A new informative video is now available for those who have questions about their role in the courtroom. The jury service video is a collaborative effort of the Ohio Judicial Conference, the Ohio Supreme Court, the Ohio State Bar Association, and the Ohio Channel. It gives an overview of Ohio's court system and explains the role the jurors have in the judicial system. The video includes information about what to expect during the jury selection process, procedures for jury deliberations, and proper courtroom behavior. The video is available for all Ohio judges and courts. Teachers and the public can also access the video to learn more about the judicial branch of government. A new year brings a new look for the Court of Claims of Ohio website. The court today debuted its new site, which was redesigned to be more user-friendly and with the public's interest in mind. Mark Reed, Court of Claims Clerk of the Court, said the new website will no longer be lawyer-oriented. The old website was designed in the 1990s and was written by attorneys. We like the design of it as well. It's graphically pleasing, it's, it's, it's less verbiage, it's more about uh, funneling people to the right place to, to get the information that they need quickly. We're quite proud of the new website. Browsers can now sign up and follow cases by name, attorney, or type of case, which Reed said is new to the Court of Claims website. You've been able to look at cases. You haven't been able to subscribe to a case. And subscribing to a case is, is, is I think, really important. Uh, when we talk to the lawyers, they all love that. Um, they, they, they all believe they're not getting served you know, as quickly as they should. So they want to know what's happening on their case immediately. But uh, the people that really loved it were the press. The website also has an extensive frequently asked questions section. I think it really presents an opportunity for people to use the website in a way they haven't had in the past. They can search for the case. They can, they'll eventually be able to pay for any kind of fees or costs they have on there. You can, you can sit in your home and you can file your case from, the, from your living room. Reed said nearly two-thirds of court of claims cases are filed by the general public. Online payments and electronic filing could be accepted within the next six months, and Reed anticipates it will only allow for better accessibility for the end user. I really hope people begin to use the website in a way that makes accessibility to our court more, um, more apparent. Putting their knowledge of the U.S. Constitution, the Bill of Rights, and the Declaration of Independence to the test, high school students from across the state competed in the We the People competition on January 23rd at the Ohio State House. Students from six schools and the Law and Leadership Institute program participated in the final competition, simulated congressional hearings before a three-judge panel, showing their understanding of American constitutional democracy and the relevance of the historic documents to their lives. They are making their presentations and responding to questions from adults who are lawyers, who are judges, who are members of the General Assembly. And so it's teaching analytical skills, it's teaching the ability to talk on your feet and public speaking as well. This is the first year for Law and Leadership Institute students to participate in the state event, and fourth year student Celeste Kearney of Cincinnati was happy with how the day went for her team. I think we were very prepared for what we did. We did a lot of research, so I think all of our answers were good and coherent, and we were able to um, understand the material so we could do a good job. I think our team did, very, uh, did a very good job of talking with each other since it seemed like we, um, all of our answers flowed together even though we had separate trains of thought. This year's winner, Finley High School, will represent Ohio in the We the People National Finals in Washington, D.C. in April. That's a look at Court News Ohio's top stories. Visit courtnewsohio.gov for the latest headlines on Ohio's courts. You can also check us out on Facebook and Twitter. 